Specifically, we're talking about wind energy. There are at least 73,000 wind turbines across the US alone with more coming online every month. And the market for tower technicians is growing quickly. Turns out a job dangling in a harness 300 feet in the air servicing all that equipment is providing meaningful security. Today's good energy feature shows us what it takes to maintain those turbines and where you can get that training affordably and quickly. What really spoke to me about this job is I just have like a deep held beliefs around green energy. Jackie Agbe left her desk job last year and she isn't looking back or down. This 300 foot wind turbine was one of many Jackie helped maintain in 2023. Wanting to work outside and being in a field setting really spoke to me instead of like behind a computer all day. And that's where I want that strap. Jackie got her training at the Northwest Renewable Energy Institute in Vancouver. The first thing that we take our students through here is learning about the turbines themselves. This is what it does, this is how it works. Tom Barris learned his craft right here more than a decade ago. Now he's teaching the next generation of tower technicians on a brand new 20 foot mod truss simulated nacelle climbing tower. The actual towers of course stand more than 10 times that height. And then we have to jump into the safety aspect of everything. Their lives are in our hands when we're going to be working with them, so we got to make sure we're doing everything as safe as possible. For a little over $16,000, students enroll in a six-month training. It covers all the safety aspects required when working 300 feet off the ground in tight spaces with technical knowledge of electric and mechanics. Included in the training, job interviews, says President DJ Schmidt. And then we have a wind company coming every Friday from now until the end of February to present their company to the next set of graduating students. And they're there to say, come work for us. We, we need you and let us interview you. The day I graduated, I had my job offer and left about two weeks later to go to training and I've been in the field ever since. Demand is high and growing. The U.S. Department of Energy credits wind with more than 120,000 jobs, while the Bureau of Labor and Statistics cites 45% growth in turbine technician employment alone. And the average starting salary is $57,000 a year with upward mobility and portability. Once they get some, some experience, they'll start to specialize into electrical or mechanical. You could become a site supervisor, you could become a trainer. I mean, there's lots of different avenues you can go. Jackie has enjoyed the travel, spending months in four states last year. One thing I'm seeing that I love. And she appreciates the diversity she's found in her new career. I'm a woman out here in the field, which has typically been male dominated, but I see more women. So there really is a place for everybody here. Enrollment at the Northwest Renewable Energy Institute is 25 per class. The next class graduates on March 1st. Many of those students already eyeing jobs with Avangrid or Invenergy, or like Jackie here, Deutsch Winteneck. A new class starts every other month. Chris McGinnis, KGW News.